Uh, well, hey. Uh, we need some better weather, Abby. Come we on. We really on. could use some better weather. And you know, I'm trying to will the sunshine to happen with this blinding yellow dress, people. I got you covered on Tuesday with a high of 73 degrees. It's looking warm, partly to mostly sunny skies. Can't complain, except well, I think a lot of people would prefer that kind of weather to overlap with a Saturday or Sunday, right? But instead, we're dealing with below average temps today and tomorrow, mid 60s only. I think today rain won't be as widespread as what we saw last night, but today we've got a better possibility for small hail, gusty conditions, maybe even some strikes of lightning. Tomorrow, just a couple of sprinkles as we get the work week started with increasing sunshine into the afternoon. And make your outdoor plans for Tuesday right now. It's really going to be glorious and beautiful out there. Today's weather maker is a cold front that's moving through right now. Behind it, we stay below average in the temperature department tomorrow. And again, after that cold front passes, we'll have a couple of areas of light rain early tomorrow morning, but nothing that's expected to be too organized or widespread. So this morning, take a look at the line of showers marching through Snohomish, King, Pierce counties. You're seeing some areas of heavy rain. And I want to focus some attention right now. Mineral Morton outside of Mo Mossy Rock. Light to moderate rain falling, and in general, these showers pushing up to the north, northeast. Everett, Snohomish, Lake Stevens, good morning, happy Sunday. Hope you have some cozy plans in the work today. Rain jacket helping you out, but I'd also keep the sunglasses with you because I think we could see a couple of glimpses of sunshine from time to time, which should be nice. Let's talk about the thunderstorm threat today. In the dark rain, southeastern Washington, you got the chance for damaging gusts, large hail, along with our thunderstorms today. Everybody else in light green included in the risk for some weak storms. So there still could be some small hail and dangerous lightning, but we're not expecting any severe thunderstorm warning. So just wanted to make that distinction there. Future cast here as we go into the next hour. Areas of rain still happening. We pause the clock at noon. A lot of the action up over the higher elevations. A couple of sun breaks in the lowlands with areas of rain through 3 o'clock, 7 p.m. Some of that rain focused up over the north sound. In at 10 o'clock tonight, I think the chance for lightning drops, and that's because the sun will have set by that point in time. Temps today, wow, only in the mid 60s out there. That's what we're expecting tomorrow. A high of 73 degrees on Tuesday. I cannot wait. Isolated showers Wednesday, Thursday. Day, maybe an atmospheric river event on Friday. I thought we were done with those for the year with some fewer showers on Saturday. We're going to have more on those high temps for you, Brian, coming up next.